Hi, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. Uh, I was going to do a follow-up to the Guns for Beginners uh, video on this one <clears throat> because I wanted it to be in, in some kind of order, but my media guru, my son, who I've elevated to the lofty position of director of media, told me that he can separate these into uh, playlists, I think he told me. I know nothing about this. Uh, so I don't have to do everything chronologically. And I did have some questions from readers that I wanted to slip in here. They're going to be shorter uh, videos, so I can, I can get a few of those in before we get to the next longer one. <clears throat> uh, one of the uh, most interesting questions that I've received, and I, th I think it was because this was on the website for the reversion, was, is it true that I write my books on my phone. Yes, it is. And I'll tell you what, it's, uh, my books are written on this phone right here. The reason that I write them on my phone is because I can't type. So I'll go back to kind of what started me on writing the first book, the reversion, and then, and then after that. Uh, years ago, well, that makes it sound like many, many years ago, no, you know, five years ago, something like that. Uh, as people started talking more and more about preparedness, uh, people would ask me questions about you know what they should do how they should get started my suggestions and, and I I would I would tell them <clears throat> and I realized that it was a little bit uh, difficult for them to understand the concepts that I was explaining which is integrative preparedness uh, because it was somewhat different than most of the prepper or preparedness material that they were watching or reading or, or whatever uh, so I got to thinking about it, and I just uh, I started tapping down a few notes uh, as if I was going to tell it in story form. Now, I can't type. I'm, I'm 65 years old, and men my age did not take typing in high school or any time thereafter. Uh, none of us, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm sure some know how to type. I don't. Um, back in my day, we wrote our police reports in we printed them, wrote them long, and even, even our long reports, we didn't type. Um, some years back, I published a, a martial arts magazine, and even then, I, I didn't know how to, well, I typed like this, you know. And uh, it took me forever, but I got most of the words spelled right, and so nobody seemed to mind. So when I started thinking about this, I always had my phone with me, like everybody does, and I discovered that it had a little notes program on it, so I I just tap in some, some, you know, some, some ideas and things, and pretty soon, for some reason, I don't even remember why, uh, I started writing a little story. Well, the story became interested, and, and I, I would just, I would just explain what I would do, or what a, let me put it this way, what a prepared person would do, in case of, and I, I chose EMP because that is. That is the biggie, that's the granddaddy, that's the one that if, if and when it happens, uh, <laughs> you know, all bets are off and you need to be prepared for that one. And so I just started to, uh, putting together a story about a prepared guy and his family uh, and what would happen, what they would do, how it would evolve uh, after a, an EMP, and I won't, I won't give away the story, either an EMP or a CME uh, struck the country. Um, and, and so I, as I started jotting that, and one of the reasons that I, I chose that is because I hadn't read at that time any of the other uh, SHTF fiction. Uh, but I had heard, uh, like from that, that show, uh, Doomsday Preppers, uh, that everybody was coming at it from a very, very negative and horrendous, uh, you know, just, just barely getting by survival type of, of situation. And certainly that's going to happen. That's, that's going to be, you know, 90% of the people are going to be like that. Well, they, they tell us that 90% will, will die off in the first year after something like that. But I didn't want to approach it that way, and I, I decided to approach it from the standpoint of a prepared person, okay? Not, not one who is, is kind of prepared and surprised and then, you know, how he gets home and, and 
you know, makes do and all the horrible things that they see and, and, and not that there's anything wrong with that. I have read a couple of those and, I'm, and I've liked a couple of them and I think they're good entertainment and they're good fiction and they, they're going to be right on target for a lot of people and a lot of things that happen. I just didn't want to approach it that way. What I was trying to do was put in novel form, in a, in a book form, um, the lessons that, that a person might want uh, to follow in order to survive a situation like that uh, in, in, in a fairly good way so that their life could continue um, with a, a minimum of, uh, of hardship. And a lot of people are going to say, well, that, that can't happen. You know, well, I, I disagree. I disagree. There are many people who are prepared, and, and they're going to do a lot better than those who, who aren't prepared. Certainly, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off a little bit of that, but I wanted to, to approach it from a positive standpoint. And this goes back, and I include in the books, you know, a lot of, of my thoughts on uh, the traditional values, um, the values on which our country was based, the values that I grew up with, that most of us grew up with in our lives, the, the, the values that were... Um, universally accepted for the most part in our country up until the at least the middle 60s when it started kind of kind of changing and uh, and I wanted to include in there lessons of, of kind of how might, we might want to take it back to that if given the chance so anyway that's that was my thought process and I started tapping away on my phone one finger at a time and uh, as I kept explaining this and like I say it was it was a an explanation to people in in book form of what they might want to try to, to go after and how they might want to prepare. And I, and I admit, it, it is at the top realm of preparedness. It, it is not meant to be uh, a, a scratching from day to day, where am I going to find water, where am I going to find food kind of, of life. That's not, certainly not the life that I'm interested in living, and that's why we prepare, isn't it? Okay, to try to give ourselves a, as good a lifestyle as we can after whatever kind of catastrophe might befall us. Uh, so anyway, so I, I was tapping on a phone, tapping on a phone, and it got longer and longer and longer, and after about a year, uh, I looked at it, and, and, and I, <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I didn't know how to get it from my phone to a computer. I could have asked a friend of mine who could have gotten it done in a week, uh, but I'm not like that. I have to do everything the hard way. I have to figure everything out for myself. And so I would email it from there to, um, from an email account to my personal account and then try to get it into a word program. And when I did that, all the formatting was off and uh, I couldn't figure out why. And it took me a, another forever and a half to, to finally figure out to take it from the email into notepad which removed all formatting and then take it back into word and uh, then reformat it and anyway to make a long story short it took me about a year to write it tapping it one one letter at a time with a finger on the phone it took me another year to format it because I it took me that long to figure it out um, and and then I found out I, I had a book that was 96,000 words long and uh, I, which is something like 20,000 words longer than Huckleberry Finn, I think, or something like that. So anyway, I just tried to figure out how to, how to, to get it out there and finally got it published. And that's where, uh, that's where the reversion, uh, which, is, which is this one, that's when that came out in, what was it, Two, 2017, I think. Um, October or something like that in 2017. Well, the the response to that was was so great, and and I want to thank everybody who's watching right now, uh, all of my readers, everybody who's written me emails and reviews for it, and I never expected, you know, many more people than my mother and my wife to really like it, and that was their job to like it, uh, but uh, darn if people didn't like it. And uh, it started selling and selling big, and and uh, then people were, you know, wanting a, a, another. What happens next? And 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 I realized at the end of this book that uh, there was a, there was a lot more. There was a lot more coming. What happens next? 
And so that's when I started <coughs> in the, the second book, which is the revival, which came out, um, well, not too long ago. I'm, I'm trying to think now. Uh, we've been so busy here lately. I, I think November, which is about five months ago. Uh, and the sales on this have just been far past anything I, I anticipated. And again, I thank all of you for, uh, for, for reading it, for buying it, for giving it to your friends, and for your feedback, for getting a hold of me. And, and I'll interject here also. Uh, I'm going to start answering some questions on these, these videos. And if I haven't been able to get back to you, those who have, have emailed me, because I put my, my email on the back of this, this book, if I haven't been able to get back to you yet, or if I haven't answered your, uh, your questions, I apologize. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of, well, not in the middle, I'm, I'm about in the last third of writing the third book, which is the renewal, which we're getting out here in the next couple of three months. And, is, and I do want to get back to you, and I enjoy, and I get a lot out of your, your uh, correspondence. It's, it's more gratifying than you can possibly know to a writer. Uh, to know that the, uh, the things that I, got, I try to get across, not just, not just preparedness, but the importance of traditional values, of, uh, of family, of friends, of faith, of um, the importance of community and, and, and a proper community. That, that life is, is not just surviving. Life is, uh, is, is, is living properly and living in a way that, it, it, uh, um, that people working together within their framework and their faith and their, and their, their combined and shared traditional value systems can create a lifestyle that's that's edifying to everyone and and when I get uh, a lot of your all's um, emails and and I see or, or or the reviews or even on Amazon and I, I should say I'm sorry um, for, for those of you who have not read my books um, they're available on Amazon uh, they're in and, and of course as with any book it's uh, there are other books out there with similar names um, usually I think mine pop up, but I don't know. If, if they don't immediately pop up, you can put in the Reversion Stonemont series or the Revival Stonemont series. And I've been told that, that for some reason a link doesn't go to my author page. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't had time to check on that. I'll try to see about that. And, and then you can, you can order those if you'd like. It's both in Kindle and, as you can see, in, in hard copy. Um, but but thank you so much. I, I just I, I feel like I feel a, a great attachment to all of you who have who have uh, reviewed my books and contacted me and and uh, that you've been able to see what I was getting at in these books and uh, and that you enjoyed them that you agreed with it. Uh, it lets us know really. It lets me know how many more people there are out there in the world that that share my my. Uh, my values and my sense of justice and, and such as that. Anyway, uh, that's that's how the books came about, and uh, and there will be. I, I I thought that there was just going to be three. It looks well. There's definitely going to be more than three now, and it looks like maybe five now in the Stonemont uh, series. And the reason that it's called the Stonemont series is because the main location where it happens is called Stonemont and uh, so I guess there's going to be about five uh, I, there I have another um, series of books that I had started at the same time uh, which approaches um, a, a SHTF situation from a slightly different uh, perspective but this series took off so so quickly and in, in such a, a, a good way that it's pretty much taken all my attention and time, and maybe I'll get to that. I don't know when this series will end. Uh, right now, it's uh, um, it's 
it's interesting me as much as as so many other people who get a hold of me and ask me about it. And in addition to that, I there still have a couple. I have two other projects that are in the works right now that I'm working on. That I think I mentioned this in a previous um, video. There will be a companion book called Lessons from Stonemont, and we're going to start shooting a few videos along that line here pretty soon. Maybe maybe even tomorrow. Or it kind of depends. Um, and uh, and then another one on integrative preparedness. But anyway, that's that's kind of how the books came about. That's how uh, I don't know what I'll do when this phone goes out on me. Um, I guess I have to buy a new one that I will learn how to go like this and write on. But uh, anyway, that's that's the answer to those questions. And again, thank you, um, a most heartfelt thank you for uh, not only uh, buying and reading the books, but but getting a hold of me and talking with me, and I appreciate you so much. So that'll do it for today. Thank you very much again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.